In the past few years, the supply of electric vehicles has been increasing explosively, and most of the companies that produced internal combustion engine vehicles are starting to produce electric vehicles competitively, as well as companies that have not been recognized at all are appearing in the market one after another. Although rapid electric vehicle performance upgrades are taking place, the dark side is also being witnessed. Electric Vehicle Fire Accident Statistics show that the probability of a fire accident is about 0.02%, which is similar to that of an internal combustion engine. However, once there is a fire, even if a fire engine is dispatched, it is not extinguished until everything is burned down. It is said that putting the entire fire vehicle into a water tank full of water is the best way to extinguish a fire because it can lower the temperature of the ignited battery and cut off oxygen at the same time. But did you know that we are only seeing a small fraction of electric vehicle fires? The video full of soaring flames is all about the superficial dangers of electric vehicles that we come across and feel, but in reality, it can be much more serious than that, and we need to know the facts to avoid the danger, so I made this video today. Now, let's start the tech trip. The biggest reason for fires in electric vehicles is that the cathode and anode come into direct contact with various internal or external factors. As a result, the energy stored in the anode is not used to operate the motor, but a huge amount of current flows inside the battery in an extremely short time, which is called a short circuit electrically. A huge amount of electrons flowing from the anode to the cathode causes the temperature to rise rapidly due to the resistance inside the battery and cause ignition. If the temperature rises rapidly, the carbon materials inside the battery will burn and cause a fire. In particular, the flammable liquid electrolyte acts like gasoline and promotes combustion. In addition, even if there is no external oxygen supply, the cathode material inside the battery releases oxygen at high temperature, thus satisfying all the conditions necessary for combustion. In addition, the battery cell itself is wrapped in modules and packs to protect it from the external environment, so it is difficult for the battery to be exposed to water no matter how much water the fire engine sprays. And without external oxygen supply, oxygen generated from internal decomposition of cathode material enables continuous combustion. Therefore, the cooling required for fire extinguishing is inevitably inefficient. But there is another hidden villain. It is an electrolyte dissolved in organic solvents. When the battery is discharged, lithium ions move from the anode to the cathode. At this time, lithium ions dissolved in the electrolyte act as a medium for this reaction. In order for lithium ions to escape from the anode during discharge to move to the cathode, which is the opposite electrode, it has to travel a considerable distance, which is practically impossible. Instead, lithium ions dissolved in the solvents are inserted into the cathode. And lithium ions escaped from the anode are instead dissolved in the electrolyte. A large amount of lithium ions must be dissolved in the electrolyte to perform this role. The electrolyte used in most batteries has a molecular formula called lithium PF6, and is shown in the chemical formula, each molecule contains six fluorine atoms. The lithium ions contained in lithium PF6 act as the mediators mentioned above. Therefore, six times more fluorine atoms than lithium ions in the electrolyte are present inside the battery. In general, the amount of hydrogen fluoride generated in a battery fire is 20 to 200 mg per watt hour capacity. Let me give you an example of how much this quantity is. Tesla Model S has a battery capacity of 100 kWh, so the amount of hydrogen fluoride generated in a battery fire is at least 2 kg, and in some cases it will exceed 20 kg. That's a huge amount. When exposed to air, hydrogen fluoride is converted to hydrofluoric acid when combined with moisture, which can have fatal consequences. The reason that hydrofluoric acid leaks in the event of a battery fire is that lithium PF6, the aforementioned electrolyte, is decomposed at high temperatures and a large amount of hydrofluoric acid is generated at this time. According to a scientific report paper published in 2017, the concentration of hydrofluoric acid in a battery fire can exceed 200 ppm. Of course, it is different from an outdoor open environment, but in an enclosed space such as an underground parking lot, it can have fatal consequences. Other papers have reached similar conclusions. According to the safety sheet data of hydrofluoric acid, 
It is known that 50 ppm or more of hydrofluoric acid can cause fatal consequences to the human body even if it is exposed for a short time. If you ever witness a fire in an electric vehicle, you need to be extra careful, especially if it is an accident in an enclosed space such as an underground parking lot. That's it for today. Goodbye.